What is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Off The Clock TV. We are back at it again, so drop your socks and grab your... So I'm going a little solo dolo today. It's just me. I do not even know what I have in store for today. Um, and that kind of bites. Um, but I think we're going to have a good time and I'm most definitely going to bring you guys along with me. Um, I got super trashed last night. Uh, Nicholas, if you are watching, happy birthday, man. Last night was awesome. Went to a double kegger. I got to see a lot of my friends. Brandon, Chris, Connor, Thomas, Rob. Hooker, um, so shout out to all you guys. I had a fantastic time last night. Thank you so much. To be 100% honest with you, everyone, I kind of wish I brought you all along because that's how epic last night's double kegger was. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Connor, you were a great host, so it's great to see you guys. So appreciate you all, and I uh, just want to show you all some love because you guys are the best. Now, today's episode, I think I'm gonna head into town. I kind of got a project, a potential project that I want to show you guys. And it's not a pretty one, okay? It's not pretty. But, but, when you see it, you may be like, and, and, and you hear my vision, you may be like, okay, hold on now. Hold on now, James. That's not a bad idea. So, I want to check this out. I want to see if it's doable. I want to see how much it's going to cost, and then maybe, just maybe, we might be buying a new car. So, let's figure this stuff out, and let's get on the road. All right, well, here she is. A Kia Sportage. This thing is uglier than but we are considering on making this a purchase for the channel. And the reason we want to make this a purchase for the channel is because we think that if we were to beef it up a little bit, put some bigger and better tires on it, that this could be a fun toy, not only for the property, but for a little bit of trail riding. So maybe, just maybe, we can get this Kia Sportage uh, up and going again. Um, I know how much they want for it, which is really, really cheap. And by they, I mean my brother. My brother currently owns it. Um, it's a little side project of his, but we want to kind of turn it into a side project of ours. Um, so what do you think? Should we buy the Kia Sportage? Should we turn it into a monster sportage? I mean, check this out. I mean, the top comes down, so we can take this back little piece off. Maybe we can find a way to put half doors on it. We beef up the tires just a little bit, which would be pretty cool. We could run a light bar across the top. We can end up putting a nice brush guard and a winch on it, and then maybe rhino line it. So I'm thinking maybe some rhino liner would, would be nice. I mean, I know some of the mechanical issues that it has, and it's really not too bad. Um, we're probably looking at anywhere between about five to seven hundred dollars to fix the parts if we do it ourselves, um, and so that that's not a bad that's not a bad project at all. So that would one hundred percent be worth it. And we don't need this thing to look pretty. We really don't. Um, it's going to be beaten up. We don't really care. I mean, we're not going to destroy it. We're not whistling diesel, but we are just gonna turn it into a toy, essentially. So I was on the market for a four-wheeler, but for the same price of the four-wheeler, I could get the Sportage and turn it into something cool. So we've already got a four-wheeler. We don't have Sportage. So that's kind of our plan. Um, I don't know, let me know. So I, I, I think that that's the route that was definitely gonna choose, but I'm not 100% on that yet. So we will see what happens, and hopefully in a future episode, you will see that we purchased a new car. And by new car, we mean a early 2000s, very hideous, very hideous Kia Sportage. All right, it is leftover time. I am, I'm starving, man. I don't know, today's uneventful. 
mildly upsetting, you know. Sometimes I think I have these like eventful days planned and I just don't. So I need to start like really sitting down and digesting this a little bit better. But you know, in our first 35 videos, I, I, I think that there's gonna be a lot of learning lessons. Um, clearly I've got chicken with so many peppers and onions on them because peppers and onions are fantastic. But, a uh, bit of a learning curve here. I mean, it's gonna take a little bit for us to get in the rhythm of what we're doing. You know, right now I'm working on other people's, you know, schedules as well. Um, you know, Tuna's really busy. Uh, I mean, as am I, we're all really busy, but we're in the midst of schedule changing. Tuna's uh, schedule has completely changed. Um, you know, Matt, he's got an unpredictable schedule. Um, you know, my schedule is actually currently changing at work right now because I just got promoted. So, I mean, it's just, it, it's been a little bit weird, but, uh, you know, we're still working to pump things out for you guys, um, to the best of our abilities because we just thoroughly really enjoy doing this. Um, making videos is something that we've been realistically doing for a very long time. We just haven't done it at this capacity, nor did we remain consistent with it. But now we're ready to start doing that for you guys. So, I don't know. This will probably be a short one, but whatever. What do you think about the Kia Sportage? I mean, a monster Sportage. Think about that. As hideous as the thing is, I think it would be so much fun. So, aesthetically, horrible. But would whipping that thing around the property be a good idea? Um, doing a little bit of trail riding with it, would it be a good idea? You know, nothing too crazy, of course, but uh, I think it'd kind of be fun. So, I don't know, we'll see. But listen, I appreciate you guys uh, so much. Thank you for watching Off The Clock TV. Thank you for sticking around this far, so far. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I am, wait, you know, first off, a minute is not a long time until it's your food in the microwave. Um, yeah, a minute, 40 seconds left, whatever. But um, I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Off The Clock TV. Check out the Off The Clock TV website um, because by the time you are watching this, it is 100% done and probably looks fantastic. I myself haven't even seen it yet. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching another one and we'll see you again in the next episode. Deuces! I've tried to do something cool and I think it was actually stupid and then I hit this chandelier but let's try this again deuces